This should be a quick one. Went to start my tractor and my throttle cable decided it was gonna snap. Well, not the cable, the, the lever. Um, so this is a pretty generic part for uh, John Deere. I got a replacement right here. Came with the cable, everything you need. Um, so I think it was like 26 or 30 bucks on Amazon. There's a bunch of different vendors that make it. Um, so I'm sure they're, you know, they're aftermarket. They're not um, OEM, but this one's made in India. Uh, it's a pretty solid unit. So we're gonna go ahead and install it. And as you can see, a lot of times by looking at what the new part is, you can see how the old part has to come out, right? So if you look here, there is not a whole lot other than a couple of tabs, slot tabs. So a couple flathead screwdrivers and my fingers right up inside of here and you're able to jostle it out. And then this cable comes down and since again, it's the throttle cable, right? So it hooks right into the throttle here. Um, so again, this little star nut here is gonna get loosened. I forget the, uh, the number on this one, but we'll pull that one off, pop it off, put the new cable in and be on our way. So that's a T20 is what that screw is. And you can see I left it on, there it is. I loosened it up enough just to flip it around out of the way. And then here's the cable. Again, it goes right in this little hole. Let me get the zoom in there. And you can see it's got the little S hook on it. So it kind of just does a little twist in. Looks like I did get the OEM. This is the old one, made in India. So it is the exact same part, awesome. Like I said, this one was on Amazon. It was $27 and got here right when I needed it to. So we're gonna go ahead and pop it in. So first things first, we're gonna set this. And it should pop right in. And actually, yeah, I'll get a towel. I'll just clean up around here a little bit. Might as well. I haven't gotten the tractor detailed yet for the season, but it'll help. All right, I got the piece ready to go in. I did, the cable came down, I just routed it a little bit just so it's somewhat in the area it needs to be so I'm not buttoning it around too much. And this should just snap into place. There we go, there's one side. And there's the other side. Perfect. It's gonna do exactly what we needed to. Now we're gonna connect the cable. Again, down here. Pardon the angles. This little guy is gonna hold the cable in play. And you can actually see um, here, there is a little tooth, there it is. That little tooth sits right in here. There's an opening you can see right there, that little hole opening. So that actually sits in there and that's what holds the cable in place. So that when you're pulling on the throttle, this stays where it needs to to pull just the wire through. It keeps everything in, pl in place nice and tight. So we're gonna hook that up. All right, everything's in. Cable is adjusted or nice and tight. So now I'm gonna play with it. I am going to tighten it up here. We're gonna go ahead and start the tractor up and we're gonna make sure that choke is where choke should be and all the positions are correct. So again, we might adjust this to either pull this in or out more, depending, because you want that slider to be exactly where it needs to. So again, the slider in here is what determines the throttle speed. My hair's a little messy. I had my headphones on. I was doing a little bit of blowing out in the yard before, but figured since I had the minute, I would do this because it seemed like a pretty quick fix. It is. Uh, again, parts not expensive, um, but tractor is, well, it's almost 10 years old now, so eh, call it a wear and tear item and uh, cheap fix. Keeps it running. Anyway, Hope you had a good day. That's a simple one. Take care.